Hey everybody, Bike and Sean here. Uh, I've been seeing the Spyderco collection video tag going around and I've seen some really awesome collections. Uh, recently, Nuts for Knives. I just saw a video that he did on his Spyderco collection and you gotta check out his channel. I got I told you guys about him in my uh, 500 subs, uh, over and under 500 uh, tag shout out video. And uh, seriously, if you're into Spyderco, you have to go look up his recent Spyderco collection video because he's got a crazy collection of awesome Spyderco knives. So uh, my collection is nowhere near as extensive as most of the ones that I've seen. Uh, Smoke Eater 908 did one. Uh, I think that um, some other people have done them, but uh, I just kind of wanted to throw my uh, video up there and let you guys see my collection of Spyderco knives. Uh, Spyderco is definitely uh, a really great production company and kind of what I started with in my collecting and I still uh, love picking up uh, some of their special knives that come around. So um, without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and show you my first Spyderco, which was the Paramilitary 2 S30V, the normal black G10 non-sprint run Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Awesome knife. Uh, it was my first Spyderco, um, the Cajun Blaze. Gave this so much uh, attention back when I was getting into YouTube that just had to pick this one up, and uh, it's a great knife. You can't go wrong. I love the ergonomics and the functionality of it, and the compression lock is really slick. So it's my first Spyderco. It's a Paramilitary 2. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to run out of space. I had a buddy of mine on YouTube do a custom sheath for the uh, Paramilitary 2 to wear on your belt, which uh, I've got some videos on that. Go check it out, but it's really cool. Uh, then, uh, let's see, I got the um, lightweight Manix 2 with the translucent blue handle scales. Rocking a little uh, bug antennae uh, paracord lanyard that I did there. Uh, this is a really cool knife. Um, super smooth. Love the Manix design. And uh, really cool ball bearing lock on that one, so. Got the uh, Delica 4 in the orange FRN. This orange is wild bright. And uh, it's got that cool black pocket clip. Uh, it doesn't see a ton of carry because uh, I think it's kind of a smaller knife. I'm generally into a little bit larger, but it's a great EDC knife. Um, makes a great gift too. I've given away a few of these to various uh, you know, relatives that would appreciate that kind of thing. All right, uh, let's see. Got another Manix here. This is the Manix 2 XL with S30V and a little Emerson skull there. And uh, this is just a really comfortable knife in the hand. I love the, uh, the blade shape and size. Um, this one is uh, just an all around good knife. Um, so, can't. I think they started uh, skeletonizing the handle on this a little bit recently with the most recent iterations that have come out and I haven't tried one of those out but you know this one's a little heavy I'm sure that that's even better with the slightly uh, lower weight but at any rate this is a cool knife all right uh, we've got a couple of Enduras this is a gray Endura uh, with the full flat ground blade doesn't really get a lot of pocket time. I just really kind of wanted to try out the, the regular FRN Endura. Uh, and I do love the gray FRN. I think it's a nice color. But um, the reason I got this one is basically because I got this Damascus uh, Endura with the jigged bone handle scales with the titanium, uh, blue anodized titanium bolsters. And this was my first Endura. And I really wanted to try a regular version in FRN as well because I, I just love the shape of this knife. It's uh, so slim, and but it's uh, got a lot of reach and the great blade design. But this one's just pretty awesome. This is my only uh, Damascus bladed knife that I have right now. I would like to get another one or two or you know, whatever, but really cool. 
I love this one. All right, uh, let's see. Another really nice Spyderco was, uh, this is the Lion Spy, manufactured in Italy by uh, the Lion Steel Company. It's a collaboration. It has a G10 handle scale here with uh, the titanium uh, frame lock side. And uh, it's got the roto block, the steel insert on the lock bar, um, low ride pocket clip. I put this uh, lanyard on here with the Spyderco bead. Uh, it really helps get it out of the pocket because this pocket clip is uh, really nice retention and really low riding, but with you know most low ride clips, it makes it a little harder to get the knife out. And uh, I just love this knife actually. It's got a different kind of blade design there uh, with a really high, um, you know, grind, a really thick, uh, deep, you know, cutting surface blade there, and uh, large uh, opening hole. Nice thumb ramp, great ergonomics, and check out the beefy stock on this one. It's a four millimeter blade stock or four and a half. I think it's four. But yeah, it's just a really great knife. Um, it's really smooth. The lockup is incredible. Best lockup probably on any frame lock that I have. Um, you know, there's a couple that are close also. I mean, but it's just super tough. And uh, really easy to disengage, no stick, very smooth. This is a nice knife. Uh, I think they've uh, released another production run of these, so if uh, you're interested, um, I would recommend this. This is a great knife. And then I have my recent acquisition, the uh, Spyderco Techno, with uh, just this awesome finish on the titanium slabs, the stone wash. It's really what drew me to this knife um, and the feel of it. It's very nice stone wash feel. You know, it's kind of smooth. And that blue backspacer just looks great. Love it. Nice uh, pocket clip and just a stout little blade. Comes out really well. Nice blade shape. Really usable knife. Even though it's small, it's uh, comfortable. It fits in the hand nicely and you get a lot of, a lot of cutting edge. So, another really great knife. Uh, I used to have all of the, uh, well, three of the Sage series knives. I had the Sage um, 2 Titanium, which uh, I would choose this one, the Techno, over that Sage 2, even though it's a great knife, um, and I do really like it. Uh, this one, I just kind of like a little bit more, the ergonomics and the feel of it. Finally, I have one Spyderco fixed blade, and that is the Phil Wilson South Fork with S90V. Just a beautiful, beautiful fixed blade. It really feels like a custom and uh, made in Taichung, Taiwan, which a lot of the really high quality Spydercos come out of that factory. Great fit and finish. And uh, just really awesome knife. You can use this for anything. Comes in this nice sheath with the uh, Spyderco G clip, which uh, is my first experience with this, but it works really well. It just uh, snaps right onto your belt loop. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it's the perfect solution, but it's good. It works well. Um, and then just really great construction on this uh, this sheath. It's folded over with the the bolts just on this side. It's really nice. It's great retention. So anyway, that's the only uh, Spyderco fixed blade that I have. All right, guys, that's my Spyderco collection. Hope that you enjoyed the video. I uh, look forward to seeing, oh shoot. Look, I just uh, tried to wrap it up and I've got two tiny little knives hidden off to the corner here. Uh, I'm sure somebody would have picked that up. I, I always talk about this one. It's my Spyderco Jester in a gray G10. Awesome blade shape on that. Really cool. Really, really useful. Use this all the time. And uh, I got this one in a trade from Blade Ramble. And it's the salt version of the Ladybug in H1 steel. And uh, you can see that they're basically the same handle design and just different materials and a little different, well, a much different blade shape there. But 
it's really cool to have these um, super useful knives and uh, can't believe I almost forgot them they were just sitting off to the side there and uh, there you go so that finally is the whole collection and uh, hope that you enjoyed it like I said look forward to seeing your collections and uh, take care everybody see you on the next video